All right, so we know the classic baking soda and vinegar reaction. You know, you mix them together and they fizz up. One thing you might not have known is that carbon dioxide is released in the process. And we're going to do a really cool trick where we're going to make the reaction, we're going to trap the carbon dioxide, and then we're going to pour it on top of a lit candle. And you will see it extinguish the flame because it is depriving it of oxygen. So let's get the candle started first. All right, let that burn for a couple seconds. While we do that, I'm going to start putting in the baking soda and then the vinegar. We just need a little bit. I'll move this closer so you can see the reaction. You've seen it before, it fizzes up. Before it finishes, we're going to try to trap some of that CO2 by just covering it with our hand. Alright, once it's finished with most of its reaction, I'm going to slowly and carefully remove my hand so I don't stir up too much air and remove the CO2. And then we're going to pour it on top of the fire. And you can see that just by pouring it, tilting it a little bit, the CO2 drained out. Now the reason that we were able to pour the CO2 is because it's a lot heavier than the regular air around us. Uh, the air around us does have CO2 in it, but this is more concentrated so it sits more densely at the bottom of the cup. Thanks for watching.